I have to taste this before I bring it to the table. Ooh. It's hot. <laughs> mm. Really, really good. Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Cooking Blind with me, Yolanda. Sorry it's been a while, I know I haven't posted anything lately, but my um, son, who edits my videos, uh, was going through college exams so it was a little bit of a busy time for him and we couldn't really get anything uploaded uh, because as you all know as a parent I always say it education comes first so we are back now and we are going to start posting videos hopefully one after the other so today what I want to share with you is tonight's um, dinner with my family and what I'm going to be making tonight for dinner is a creamy butternut squash and honey garlic sausage pasta bake casserole. So come into my kitchen and come for the ride and come and see how we make this delicious casserole. Before we start, please help me grow my channel. We're currently sitting at 67 subscribers and my goal is to get to 100 subscribers. So please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for any future notifications about videos that I post and give me a thumbs up if you like this recipe or any of my other recipes. And now let's get started with the creamy butternut squash honey garlic sausage pasta bake. Okay, so to begin, we're gonna start the base of our butternut squash. And so to a skillet, what I have here is about two to three tablespoons of olive oil. I've got about one medium white sweet onion, chopped coarsely, uh, about one stalk of celery, chopped coarsely, uh, two halves, garlic cloves and I've also got about one medium tomato or you can use small cherry tomatoes it's up to you um, going with a little bit of salt and pepper and so we're just going to turn this on and we're going to simmer it for a few minutes and this will be the base of our butternut squash sauce to coat our pasta with okay and I'll have the full complete recipe in the description box for you okay so you just want to bring this to a saute okay and just soft enough is good enough okay so now what we're going to add to this is 750 grams of diced butternut squash. Now you can buy the frozen or if you find fresh, go right ahead. I always say it. Fresh is always better. Right now, I couldn't find the fresh one. I found the frozen one. So it'll have to do. There we go. So that's all in. My hands here. Okay. And just give it a mix. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to break up a vegetable bouillon and we're just going to sprinkle it everywhere. Okay, like so. And we're going to throw in one bay leaf. Okay, go. 
Okay, and to this we're going to add about a glass of white wine. That was about a glass. Give and take. Okay. And now we also need two cups of water. And as you guys all know, I'm visually impaired and I have a few little tools around the house to make my life a little bit easier. So, where's the uh, faucet? There it is. Alexa, ask Delta to dispense two cups of water. Okay, dispensing two cups. There we go. All right, and we're going to throw this into our butternut squash mixture here. There we go. Okay, give this a mix. pretty good and we're going to put the lid on it and let this cook about 20 minutes and I'll show you the next step okay okay so our next step is uh, to saute what I have here is about four medium honey garlic sausages and what I've done is I've removed the casing so I just um, sprinkled the meat with my fingers, just broke everything apart. So we're going to turn that on. There we go. Okay, we're going to put it on medium high. And we'll just give it a few minutes to warm up there. And as it starts to sizzle, what I want to do is just um, smash it up and break it down now you don't need to season this because it's uh, the meat itself is in a sausage so it's already um, seasoned and this one happens to be a honey garlic sausage so it's already got the honey garlic flavoring so no no seasoning here okay guys so this is almost done as you can see it's crumbly nice and browned and there's just a little bit of um, the, uh, the juices that came out of the meat. And to this, I'm going to add one green um, onion, you know, the long ones. And I'm just going to give it a whirl just to kind of get that going, the onion flavor in there. But I don't want to overcook it, so just mix it in and maybe give it about another two minutes just to sweat out the onion and this will be complete we're going to turn this off in about two minutes and we're going to set it aside okay. so our meat is done we're going to turn that off and we're just going to push it to the back so it's out of our way and we're going to check on our butternut squash here see what's What's shaking and what's happening? Ooh, coming along nicely. Okay. So it's ooh, nice and tender. Everything is nice and tender. Beautiful. So I think this is done too. Yes. The wood spatula is going right through it. So this is nicely done. And as you can see, we still have lots of liquid and that's what you want because we're going to blend this. Okay, so we're gonna turn this off, let it cool down. Okay, we'll move that to the back as well. And we'll let that cool off and we'll start the next step. Okay guys, as we're waiting for our ingredients to cool off, we wanna preheat our oven to 400 so as you can see I have my little bumpers here set up so on convec convection bake 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 
80, 90, 400, and start. And yes, I have to count because I can't see the screen. So that's on, we're good, that's preheating. On to our next step. Okay guys, so what I've gone ahead and done is I've ladled my butternut squash um, sauce mixture, I was about to say soup, uh, which is completely wrong, but you know, we can do soup another day. Anyways, uh, so the sauce mixture is in here, so it's in my blender, so I'm going to now close the blender. It's still a little bit warm, so be very careful. Let me try this. Hmm. Not that easy when you can't see what you're doing. Oh, okay. there we go. Oops. I think I got it. Nope. Did not get it. Oh, the cameraman's assisting me. That's good. Got it now? We're good. Thanks, cameraman. By the way, for those of you that are wondering, the cameraman is my husband, so he does help. So we're just going to blend it. No splattering, though. No. Okay. Let's check. I'm going to go in with my finger because that's the only way I'll be able to tell. Almost there. How's that look? Does it look pureed? Yes. Yeah? It's nice, nice pureed. Okay, maybe one more whirl just to make sure. Is that on? No. We're good. Okay, that should do it. So we're going to pour this into a bowl and then we will repeat the process with the rest of the sauce. We're gonna pour it in. There we go. Okay, and we're gonna finish up the rest of it. And then on to the next thing. Okay guys, what I have here is a pot of salt, heavily salted water and I put just a smidgen of olive oil. Um, it just helps uh, with uh, the pasta not sticking. So what we're going to do is I have a pack of rigatoni pasta here. And we're going to put them in. There we go. And now I believe these should be a cooking time of 12 minutes. But what you want to do is you only want to cook it for half of that time. Okay, because we're going to finish cooking it in the oven. So I'm going to put a timer on for six minutes. Alexa, set a pasta timer for six minutes. Pasta timer, six minutes, starting now. I'm going to give it a good stir. Get it going, a nice boil. Okay. And we wait for it to cook. Okay, while we're waiting for our pasta, so we've got our sauce here, and to that I'm going to add about six ounces of light cream. Now, you can use half and half cream. I choose the light. I'm trying to keep the dish a bit on the lighter side. But you can also, if you prefer, uh, you can use uh, unsweetened almond milk. Uh, you can use coconut milk. Um, you can use whatever you like. Oat milk, I know is very popular. Anything goes. I'm using just regular light 5% cream. Give it a stir. And this will help make our sauce just a little creamier. Your pasta timer is done. Okay, so our pasta is done. Your pasta timer is done. And we're going to drain the pasta. Your pasta timer is done. Alexa, turn off timer. 
Okay, and what we're going to do now is we're going to not shake out the excess water and we're just going to put it into our butternut sauce, straight into the bowl. Okay, so our pasta is in our sauce. Now, I know it looks like a lot of sauce, but not to worry because I still have to add more ingredients and you want it liquidy because remember our pasta is not fully cooked so it's going to absorb that sauce into the pasta. So what we're going to add to this is about a cup of shredded mozzarella okay That's about a cup, perfect. And then we're gonna twirl it around here. Get it all nice incorporated. Okay, and we're also gonna add just a sprinkle of parmigiano. Okay, not too much. Okay, and we're going to get some of our crumbly sausage that we cooked before. And we're going to put that in as well. Now, if you want to keep this a vegetarian dish, what you could substitute for your sausage is you could put little broccoli florets and, um, and do that instead. That works too. Um, I don't know what you would... Um, substitute the cheese with, but I guess you could figure it out. So I'm going to give it a stir. See, as you can see, as I'm adding ingredients, the um, sauce is getting thicker. Okay, we're going to add all of the sausage in with all the juices. And yes, I do things with my hands. My hands are my eyes. So, not to worry, my hands are always clean. Okay, so just give it a good mix. Make sure it's all incorporated. And we're going to re-season for taste. Okay, you see how already the sauce is the pasta is pulling it in. It was quite a bit more liquid, li liquid before. Liquidier? Is that a word? I don't even know if that's a word. Okay, so let's do some seasoning. Just wipe my hands. Where's my, oh, some pepper. Not too much, just a little bit for taste. Okay. Another crack of salt. Again, we're just tying everything together. Okay. Give it another mix, and it's going to go into our casserole dish, which I've already sprayed with nonstick cooking spray. So we don't stick and it makes for easier cleanup. Okay, so we're going to pour that into our casserole dish slowly. And again, don't worry about the excess liquid that is going to be soaked up by the pasta as it cooks. So our pasta is in our casserole. I'm just going to sprink sprinkle. I can't speak anymore. Sprinkle the remaining mozzarella. Okay, just all over. Try to get it into the casserole, not outside of the casserole, which I think I'm doing. There we go, a little bit more. Now we're just going to add our remaining parmigiano. Just put some 
anywhere. Okay, there we go. Good there. And finally, a sprinkle of breadcrumbs. Now these are seasoned breadcrumbs, about half a cup, give and take, just for some little bit of crunch. Hey cameraman, am I getting it everywhere? Um, we'll put a little bit up here. Is that good? Okay. Okay, so we're all done. Now what I've done is I've sprayed one side of my aluminum foil. So you want sprayed side down. This way your mozzarella and cheese will not stick. And we're gonna cover up our casserole. ends nice and tight and it's going to go into 400 Fahrenheit oven for about 20 minutes okay. in you go Alexa set a timer for 20 minutes 20 minutes, starting now. Okay, our timer's going off, so we're gonna take a look-see. I can hear it sizzle. Alexa, turn off timer. look because what I want to do is I want to let it crisp up a little bit so I want to take this off mm -hmm. Ooh, nice see okay what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it back just to let the topping crisp up maybe 10 minutes and it should be done Put it on the top rack. All right, there we go. Okay, Alexa, set a timer for ten minutes. Ten minutes, starting now. Okay, our timer is going off. This is done. Alexa, turn off timer. It's bubbling. Okay, let's check it out. Oh yes, nice and crispy, beautiful. Yeah, you can hear it, hear the crunch. Oh, that's me touching the glass, no? You can hear that, yeah, nice, crispy. So there you go, folks, butternut squash and honey garlic sausage pasta baked casserole so guys it's time to eat let's go and um i will see you next time on another video and um we will make something else that's quite yummy so see you next time get cooking in your kitchens and don't forget hit that subscribe button and share with your family and friends take care